yeah, hope you're doing alright. Uh, as alright as can be expected during these weird times. Uh, I've had a bit of a weird one, like this week. The UK has just entered its third national lockdown, or is it the second one? I'm all like mortified. <laughs> I think it's the third uh yeah so it's not great but i'm just filling my time by playing the sims watching youtube and making my own videos so just doing what i can stay distracted uh lately i've been a bit obsessed with stardew valley to the point of staying up till like four o'clock in the morning thinking about it uh i've been so tempted to grab my switch and just start playing in the middle of the night because i knew that i needed to sleep i was like no i'm just gonna leave it but then I would just end up staying up watching YouTube videos about it. Uh, but anyway, the build, it's another base game home. Not a start at this time though, I just built what I wanted after getting some ideas on Pinterest. Uh, I was going to make like a family home for five sims, and you can fit five sims in this house, but I decided I wanted like a decent sized office so, so the sims can spend as much time at home as I do. Current situation aside, my real life is centred around staying at home, and I'd rather be indoors playing games and outdoors socialising and that tends to reflect in my sims gameplay as well. Since they brought in lifestyles with Snowy Escape, nearly every single sim that I play ends up with the indoorsy lifestyle, which is nice but I think I need to try and tweak my gameplay a little bit and make use of the worlds and the activities that you can do away from your home lot. I think I want to start a legacy challenge but I need to figure out how I'd record that or if I'd want to put it on my channel at this stage um i've never actually done one before in fact the only challenge that i have done is rags to riches and i didn't follow the rules properly which isn't that important but i like the idea of doing a challenge where i stick to the rules and see how i get on but we'll see still learning how to make videos and yet again the sound quality in the last video was not great i tried my best to record where it wasn't echoey but I think it's because I took the Christmas tree down, somehow that made it so that the room that I recorded in, which is the living room, it sounded like I was in a bathroom. Um, I tried to edit it after recording and reduce some of the background noise, which it just sounded like white noise, but I'll get there. Um, I'm recording in my bedroom now, which is smaller and the furniture is a bit closer together, so hopefully that helps. Um, I'm going to get some foam panels, I think, for the walls where my desk is, which is in my bedroom, but god they're so ugly, like I want some that look nice, but I might have to put function above aesthetics at this point, because my main priority really at the moment is just getting better sound quality, because I think if the video is like low res, not edited the best, but the sound is good, it's, it's good overall video, but you could have like professional level editing, 4k, best camera ever, uh, but if the sound is like it was recorded on the first microphone ever invented then it's not a good video so that's what i'm aiming to fix like as i go on and then everything else can follow obviously there's only so much i can do i do have like quite a budget mic i'm just using like a usb mic at the minute um so i'll, I'll just have to see like i said as i go on also in the last video, it sounds like I recorded it at different times, like sometimes it was really echoey and then other times it was like slightly better. Well, that's because I did. Um, I recorded it in segments because I would end up waffling on about something I didn't even want to talk about and I just wanted to talk about things that had a bit more substance to it rather than just ramble on about nothing. Um, I'm autistic and possibly have ADHD, um, so sometimes when I'm talking to somebody it's like I can't stop. Um, I don't really know when it's my turn to cut in or when it's time for me to end my sentence. And if I'm talking about something I really like, then I could just go on for far too long, like hours far too long. And when I'm talking to a microphone, which is basically talking to myself, there's no one to cut in or to guide the conversation. So I have to do that myself, which I'm not good at. Um, so I just ended up talking on and on and I'd talk about pointless things and then I'd start stuttering when I'd get like excited and then every now and again I would like swear in which you know I don't mind swearing in videos but yeah I'd, I just would like to reduce it as much as I can. Um, you could also 
hear me stimming in the background because after a while I start doing it and I don't realise but then like when I listened to the recording afterwards to edit it I kept thinking what the heck is that like I kept thinking what is that like shuffling sound it was like a like that on like on the recording and I thought what what even is that and then I realized it was the sound of my hand stimming which if you don't know it's um what people with autism and ADHD can like they do it to regulate their energy levels or to cope with emotions either negative or positive or just because it feels good I, I think stimming's great and I've it's something that I've done like all my life but I spent most of my life like trying to hide it because people would get annoyed with me or try and stop me um, or they'd like look at me and like frown as if to say like stop doing that it's annoying but recently this year I've like realised that I'm autistic and that's led me to kind of accept a lot of things about myself um, so now I do try and be a bit more positive about it um, but as great as it is and as you know positive it is I don't want it in the background of my videos when it's just a strange shuffling sound like you wouldn't even know what it was but yeah I actually found a like amazing page on Instagram that shows a lot of stimming positivity um the page is called magical artistic and it's like magical dot artistic um even if you're neurotypical they have like just loads of videos that show people stimming and it just sort of makes you feel just good about it, I suppose. Because you see examples of stimming where you're like, oh, I do that. And it just, just makes you feel a bit better about it. But yeah, it is really good, really good page if you're autistic or you have ADHD or you're just interested in giving them a follow. Uh, the person that run it runs it is really nice. Even if you're neurotypical, the page is just really great Like for understanding, maybe being a bit more aware about autism and it's not just stimming positivity um the guy that runs it is just really nice person really like aware of you know a lot of issues and that uh surrounding autism and other issues in the world so don't know why i'm recommending that you follow a page on instagram that's probably more capable of like they don't need a shout out from me but yeah just thought that if anybody would be interested yeah go give uh yeah it's magical dot artistic uh is the handle and speaking of instagram if you've come from my instagram feel free to say hello um in the comments if you've gone come from like the channel link um and provide any feedback if you want and let me know what you think of the build and do you like base game builds or do you want me to use stuff from any packs um i've got another base game build coming soon um and then after that i think i want to make something using items from snowy escape uh I, I really like that expansion pack and the build and cast items i think hiking is probably my favorite activity so far especially when you go with a few sims i just wish they'd made it so that you can talk while you do it so like when you set off hiking if you don't have the pack when you set off which is essentially just like a walk where you go and you visit different places around like the world the neighborhood or on the hiking trail um so say if you went on a walk like in real life you would talk to the people that you with about whatever um and same like in the sims if you're talking to another sim while you're doing something that's just what they do they talk to each other but when you go on a hike they just walk and then they might stop and take a picture of something or pay respects or they'll like shout at this i think it's a well um or a cave um yeah they don't talk to each other they just kind of walk along and then every now and again they'll as part of the interaction of hiking i think they kind of look at each other and do a little thing but you don't you're not in control you're not like directing the conversation so it's essentially you're just walking around with however many sims but you're not interacting which like it's it's a small thing but like stuff like that i just think really make the game like little um little tweaks to like how how the game works and the interactions that the sims have with each other because i think that's you know it's a really good feature to have um like when your sims are sat down at a computer they'll like talk to each other 
or if they're doing homework and another sim will come along and talk to them while they're doing it um i know it's like it's quite bare minimum isn't it like and kind of low expectations but didn't have that in the sims 2 and that's kind of what i compare the game to in a way like whatever features are not on it i think oh well sims 2 had that because that's the game that i played the most i've played all the uh sims games but the sims 2 is the one that i played the most um so in like sims 2 if you were talking like your two sims having a conversation they would stop you had to stop what they were doing so say if one were on the computer they had to stop on the computer and then talk I'm pretty sure that's what it, what happened anyway. It, it definitely wasn't like how it is now with how they just carry on talking to each other. But yeah, Sims 2 is just, for me, it's my like unbeaten Sims game. I did play The Sims 3, but not as much. Um, it just barely worked on the computer that I had at the time. Uh, I only had like three packs. I think I had uh, Ambitions, Pets, and something else that I can't remember. Um, but Sims 3 Pets, like I got that with the first expansion pack I got and that was just like amazing. The amount of content they had in that. Like I think there was like over 30 odd birds and pet, uh, birds and reptiles, rodents, horses. Like they just had loads and I used to play it for hours and hours. And I don't even think I got a chance to play with every single like pet type. Whereas Sims 4 is literally just cats and dogs. Like that's the name of the pack because that's all you get. Um... And then obviously there's my first pet stuff where you can get hamsters or whatever. I'm not really sure because I don't have that pack. But I don't have cats and dogs installed on my uh, game. I had it on console. Um, but I just find the dogs like so annoying. I don't know why. Like, Well, it's not the dogs I find annoying. It's taking them for a walk. I just feel like it takes like hours. Like It'll take half a day for your sim to go on a medium walk. And I find that like just a bit annoying. And then you've got to follow them while they do it to pick up like you know the mess and yeah it's just I, I don't know it's just annoying um but I might get it actually because it does have some really nice items like the cast items and the build items and I have been like thinking about getting a, a German Shepherd on it for my sim self yeah I might actually get it in the sale because they've got a sale on at the minute um, and I think it runs till January the 19th or the 9th maybe. I can't remember. But I think it's still on at the minute. And it's like a 90% off sale. Um, and Cats and Dogs is on that. So so yeah, that took a sharp turn from like slugging it off to saying I'm going to buy it. Um, so like I said, I've got this build and another base game one coming out. Though that one isn't like anything that I've built before. The style of the build itself is fine, like the outside, but the interior is just not what I like I've ever really built before and it's not what I choose to build. Um, it'll make more sense when you see it uh, when I post it, but I wanted to just build something from real life and I, I do need to edit it a lot more and do the voiceover, but I'm already getting ideas for the stuff I want to build and gameplay I want to do and that video is like already quite long i've not finished editing it yet um it's at like the 40 minute mark and i think that's just too much like especially to do a voiceover um i'm trying to do this one in one take and i've already had a few pauses where i had to pause for a minute and like collect myself so that because what i end up doing is i'll talk and before i'm ready to move on to the next point my my brain's already moved on my brain's already moved on to the next point but my mouth hasn't caught up yet so I just end up stuttering and I just can't get my words out so I don't know how I'm going to do it for 40 minutes so yeah it does need like I mean I could talk for 40 minutes don't get me wrong I could talk for I could probably talk for the full day but I want it to actually have structure to what I'm talking about and it would just end up being like not fun to watch just 40 minutes of me talking shite basically um kind of like i am now but it would be worse it would be worse um and as well it's just finding time to sit down for 40 minutes and record like finding 10 minutes to sit down and do stuff even though we're in lockdown it's you know you'd think that it would mean more time and being able to record and edit 
but I've got like home learning and teaching to do so most of the time recording is going to be on weekends and with like the new Stardew Valley obsession I'll need to find a good balance um speaking of which to say I love the game I don't really have a clue what I'm doing um I've got because I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos I have like got a few um like ideas and little things that I want to do but the main type of videos I watch are just other people playing it they're not really like guides um so I think I'll have to keep watching a few more videos or I, I, I don't know I don't really like watching videos how to play a game um so I've just been kind of like winging it and I've already found like well there's two people but I've already found the person I think I want to marry on it um yeah like I said it's out of two but I don't know if they'll like me back because I keep gifting them stuff and they just say like oh thanks or they'll go what is this and I'm just like no <laughs> love me um but yeah I made it to summer barely got any money left but I've got like a chicken like a pet chicken well it's not a pet but I've got a chicken in a coop and a straw hat so not doing that bad really um I think I'm going to play it as soon as I get some free time today because even talking about it now, it's like making me want to play it so bad. Um, I get this, like, I get like this with everything. Surprisingly, I still get it with The Sims even though the game can be quite stale sometimes or at least the gameplay. I think that's why I like building so much and tend to just do that rather than actual gameplay because it's just really building is as limited as like your imagination and I find that I get new ideas quite often which I definitely didn't used to be like that as a kid, playing The Sims. Never built anything on Sims 1. I don't even think I knew how to. Because um, while I actually played The Sims 1, I got Sims 2 first. Like, that was the first Sims game that I had. In fact, no, it wasn't. I had... I, I did have Sims 1, but I don't think I knew how to install it. So I had it, but I never went on it. And I played it at a friend's house. And I was, like, obsessed with it. And when I went home, I, like, told my parents about it. Like, oh, there's this game. And my dad said, well, you've got that. You've got that game. And it was... And I did have it, but I didn't know how to put it on my computer. So I didn't actually play it. Um, and I think that was when I was about five or six. And I'm, like, in my mid-twenties now. So... Um, and then I got Sims 2. And as soon as that was installed, that were it. Like, all Christmas Day, Boxing Day... The days in between Boxing Day and New Year's, um, every day after school, just straight on it, loved it. And then I played Sims 1 after that, so I'd got used to Sims 2, loved how that played. And then playing Sims 1, second, were just like, oh, I don't know if I like this. And then I played it and got used to it, loved the gameplay for it, like I really loved playing it, but I just didn't know how to build and I hated a lot of the build items because to me they looked like old-fashioned love them now I'd, I'd love to play the sims one now um but speaking of sims 2 i like really wish that i could just install it i was watching a video the other day where it was like a tutorial on how to install a, like a virtual machine so that you can run the sims 2 on it because it doesn't run on like windows 10 and I just thought, nah, this this isn't for me. This I'm not I'm not doing it, um, because I've been really craving playing The Sims too, um, because I've been watching, I think I was watching a Pleasant Sims video, uh, and yeah, it was like a, a video that she did, um, and it just I just thought, oh god, like I really want to play it now, but I just can't be bothered. I can't be bothered installing it. Can't be bothered. It's not even that. It, it's it's patience. It's not that I can't be bothered. It's more the fact that, like. As I was watching this video, I thought, oh yeah, I can do that. But then, as the video got longer, it was like, no, I I'm not going to have patience for that. I'm alright with, like, technology and, like, installing things. But anything that, like, if it takes longer than 10 minutes and I want to do it now, no, can't do it. No patience. I like things to be quick, simple, straightforward. I uh, just don't have the patience to do stuff like that. And if it doesn't work after I've gone to the trouble of installing it and messing about then it's just like, nah, not doing it, uninstall it, delete. Uh, and plus I don't need another special interest right now. I don't need to install Sims 2 and become obsessed with that again. Um, and I, I just haven't got the time, so <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing it. 
So I think my little... So I think for this voiceover, I've discovered that I really want to play Stardew Valley. I really, really want to install The Sims 2, but I, can't, I don't want to do it. I hate cats and dogs, but I'm going to get it anyway because I want to get a German Shepherd and found an amazing page on Instagram that I think you should follow. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave you with the rest of the video now. Hopefully the sound wasn't too awful. And don't forget, if you do like the build and you want to see more like this, go and follow me on the gallery at Sims Hutch. Like the video as well if you want, and I'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.